And we are back. You have it. The Kel. The Elder Scroll. Tidkrech Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Mm hmm. Okay. Items, books. Wolf Akrin, die now in vain. on the flooding of your blade. <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Aldun does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Aldun hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But though we have stood against Alduin himself, Kroth, Sori, Birka. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Well, dear, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. If you are right, I no, will not need we it. We will deal with Alduin ourselves. Hear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. Uh-oh. So be it. Kicking his ass so far. Oh, uh oh, there she goes. <laughs>
make this contract hurt. Be gone, world eater. By words with older bones than your own, we break your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. It worked. You did it. Yes. The World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. Defeat Alduin. Dovahkiin. Indeed. Die now and await your fate in Sovereign Guard. I think not. Uh, Bo, why the hell am I not equipped? Or why the hell are you not equipped? Wait, where the fuck is it? Uh. Oh, what the hell? Shouts. Where is Dragon Rand? There it is. Dragon Rand, if you know it. Get it now while we can. Come here, Alduin. Alduin, come here. Going up there. Try to get up nice and close. Recognize that. It's not really rending him. Oh, there it goes. Holy crap. My weapons are charged. Holy crap. Uh, where'd all my healing potions go? There they are. Alduin. Guess I'll have to use that again. Uh, oh, that's right, I never hotkeyed it. I got him. Come 
come here, Alduin. That's right, fly away, you coward. Talk to Parthenex or talk to Arnir or talk to Esbert. Well, if Parthenex would land, I would be happy to talk to him. Wasn't really a victory since Alduin escaped. And he's flying away. That where the hell are you going? Alright, let me wait, see if he comes back. There he is. Lot Kongrach, you truly yes, have yes. the Neely Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. Uh -huh. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. I need to find out where he went. Yes. One of his allies could tell us, Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. I have the Bend Will skill. Perhaps the Half Kossayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. Indeed. Hmm. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Uh, provided Bagruf is in agreement. Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Alright, fair enough. Soom Ark Mora. Alright then, folks. Let's go talk to White Run. Or well, talk to uh, What's his name? Balgraf. Hopefully he'll agree. If not, well I don't know. <laughs> I haven't really thought that far. I guess we'll just use have to use Bend Will. Damn those gray mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. They'll get what's coming. Oh, just because I support the uh, just because I support the Imperials doesn't mean I like you battleborn bitches. Oh, Yarl Balgruf. I have favor to ask. What is it that you need? I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. 
Sarcasm noted. Of course. You already saved White Run from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city when we've been working so hard to keep them out? Because I need to find the damn leader of them. All do it. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I'm Dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop him. Maybe so, but I plan to go down fighting. What about you? Spoken like a true Nord. I'll stand beside you, Dragonborn. Sweet. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? Well... I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. What? Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while a dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? Nope. No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then... I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Maybe. Leave that to me. I'll go talk to them. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bind. Maybe. No, don't mind. I've got the city to you. I would honestly say, out of all the Jarls, Balgor's probably the most respectable. We never did meet the senile old guy, or not the senile, but the, like, the really raging angry guy, um, of Dawnstar. Talk to Arnir, why are there three of them? Did he clone himself? If so, that's impressive. Be gone, this clone war has. I just stepped on your head. How do you feel? Uh, where are you, dude? Ah! He's in the courtyard! Oh, old guy, where are you? In there? Blazes is he? Wow, is he really up there? Huh. Only one way to find out. Whoa, holy shit! Dude, dude, uh, <laughs> Aldwin? We heard the dragon ran shout from here. You defeated him? Eh, uh, yeah, nah. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. Uh-huh. I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Y'all, Bograf won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. All sides respect the Greybeards, they will listen. Artanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. Yes. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. We will. All right. 
Serana, what are you doing? Oh, Serana. I want to do an experiment. I just want to have a little fun. Alright, um, unrelenting force. Force? Oh, never mind. Oh, I need to try that again. A little more finesse. Uh, yeah, not that one. There we go. Wee! Wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that had to hurt. Uh, crap. I think I'm gonna fall. Yep. <laughs> Let's try that again, just for shits and giggles. Oh. It's not what I meant to do. Let's see if she comes back to us. Uh oh. I think I killed her. Wow, did I like legit? Oh, there she is. How's it going? Oh, what is it? <laughs> Serana falls from a cliff, takes it like a champ. Alright, so let's first go to General Tullius. And then we'll go talk to Ulfric. Oh, let's see, it looks colorful today. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well made arrow strikes forth. Oh, General Tullius. Speak with Legat Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. Uh, I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? To swallow your soul. They're like being a peace council. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. Well, like, the rightful emperor's dead, kind of. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, he's dead. So, what are you talking about? They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion. And I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Okay, you're an idiot. Oh, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Ulfric might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. You'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Uh, it better do some good. Damn it! I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an what attack do you need? on White He'd be insane to try. What is it? Dra no, not dragons. Demons. And to the Palace of Kings, and I have an itchy ear. Ah, much better. Yeah, they could definitely handle the harsh terrain. As we have demonstrated. What is it, dragons? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet girl? Nope. 
Well, they did. And then I killed them. Oh, won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Oh, uh, you. I remember you. You had held him with us. You've come to join the war. Speak with Garmar. He handles the new recruits. Uh, no, thank you. Um, that's not why I'm here. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Garmar. What does bring you to me? I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce until the dragon mince is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Well, funny thing, he's already agreed. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. So you'll come to the peace? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. <sighs> and what would you have You egotistical maniac. If he's not with us. Whoops. <laughs> ah, see you all shortly. Alright, and we're back. And Ulfric has agreed. So let us go. To High Hrothgar. Oh, old guys. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here. These halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. Well, isn't that? I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Well, technically, you're helping set up peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. Mm. They're not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. So it has. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Alright, folks. Oh, wrong way. My bad. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? Well, in the next video, folks, we'll host this peace council. So, till then.